Okay, here's how that the race set up on defense today. And let's take Welling a look six. at center fielder Kevin Kat Kiermeyer, Vigo. multiple gold glove winner, probably the most athletic outfielder in all of baseball. This guy makes the highlight reel look routine and has an absolute rocket for an arm. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he pours this one in at the letters 0 and 1. That fastball was a lively one. You could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Yeah, nothing better, huh, guys? I guess maybe the crack of the bat, but I'm not as partial to that as most people. He looks good and loose out there to start this one. Hit on the ground out to short. And this is going to find its way into left for a one out nine. Oh, he's great. Well, not the way you'd like to draw up an 0 2 pitch to your old, but from a hitter's perspective, a pretty good That's job good of stuff. staying alive 0 2. Yeah. yeah, and he did an excellent Andrew job there. on the offensive side. Not to let the AB get away from him. I know he was down 0 2, but he bowled his neck and he stayed in there. In there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. A lot of traffic right hitting the field. base pass first right and there. second with one out. I know you're looking Go for here. a double play ball, Dan. No question about it. I think one of the things you like to do on a pitcher is try to jump on him early before he gets settled in. See so right. far, so good. First and second. Looks like a big inning could be brewing. Time to take a look at the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Mike Fillmore. Hey, d -Roll. Mike Fillmore, one of the most consistent umpires throughout the league. Both pitchers and position players love this guy. Yeah, I think one of the best in the business. How I judge a good teammate is every day he opens that door, is he consistent? Can I count on him? Mike Fillmore is the exact same way behind the dish. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch and strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter do you think you can drive it but it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball looking to wiggle out of this here it is and he fouls this one off ready with the one and two right down Main Street caught him looking back to back strikeouts keep him out of danger. The three of us are back at Guaranteed Rate Field in. Welcome back to the South Side as we check in with Heidi. Matt, race manager Kevin Cash talked to me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said it's one of those games where everything has come together for his hitters, from their approach to their swings to the results. It's all working. One key indicator of that, six extra base hits to this point in the game. All right, Heidi, thank you. Leading off That'll the bring in Guillermo Heredia right now. 0 for 1 Guillermo for him here in this one. Heredia. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Mine to the right side. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. The batter. The second and base. that'll bring up Joey, Joey Wendell. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, pretty unlucky right there, Matty. Squared up a fastball nicely, and that's all you can do. You just want to be on time for the heater, and he's prepared for this next A.B. Garcia moves over near the line as he puts it away for the first out of the inning. The third baseman, number five. Digging in, Matt, Matt Duffy. Two base hits, Duffy. both singles to this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Oh, here's a shot out to right center. Mistake there getting the ball in is going to wind up costing him. 
That triple just seems to be par for the course for him of late. Yeah, Matty, he's seen the ball extremely well. There's no doubt about that. You can see here that the body is calm. He keeps his hands back, and he just explodes through the baseball, winding up at third with another RBI under his belt. And that's through into center field, base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Wow, that's a baker's dozen. 13 runs right there, and they can't do anything right. wrong at the plate. I'm no mm -hmm. expert, but I would have to bet that the manager would love to save some of those runs for the next game. Regardless, there's some happy men in that dugout. Only play to the pitcher covering, and the runner moves into second on the play. Now batter. To the plate now for the raise is the DH. Daniel, Daniel Robertson. Robertson. A couple of RBIs for him already, and a chance for more here. First pitch of the at bat. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And this will find the wall out near the visitor's bullpen. He pulls into second safely as a run will score on the play as well. Man, I haven't seen an offensive explosion like this since really. I don't know when. It's been a combination of spotty pitching and inconsistent defense. And now they've posted an amazing 14 runs on the board. Now in the box, Willie Adamas. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Liner towards second. And that's in there. Base hit. The throw home. Oh, but it's off the line, so the run will score. They are putting in some work at the plate in this one, Matt. Another great A.B. Another hit. Another Four. nail in the coffin. That's a startling 15 runs in this one. And they're still going. Line hard. But foul. Comes set and the 0-1. Another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0-2. Four runs here in this half inning. This is line to left. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. Adamas rounds the corner and is headed home. He comes across to score as they extend their lead even further. Yeah, they've been crushing it at the plate all game long. As 16 runs on the scoreboard can attest, not much it can say or do on the other side of it. Just have to get over it and get after it again next time. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Garcia is after it. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. So this already sizable lead gets even larger as five. Five more runs cross the plate. Up next. Chicago, Ryan Cordell, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Tyler Glasnow is into the ballgame now as he assumes duties in center field. First delivery to him on the way. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as he'll take a look at strike one. Yeah, I'm shocked he let that first pitch go right there. High fastball, but usually those ones travel the furthest. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Slow roller down the third baseline. Barehanded. Safe. Oh. 
If that was anybody else running down the line, he'd have had him. Hey, I can only now take you inside the mind of the batter right here. I had a lot of swinging bunts in my day. As soon as that ball hits the dirt in front of you, you are getting it down the first baseline. When you smell a knock, I don't care what it looks like, you are getting it down the line. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Ground ball to second. This could be two. To second for one. But he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. The batter, Digging five. in the switch hitter, Gilmer Sanchez. He was a strikeout victim in his first Sanchez. try. And it's fouled away. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Fouled off. This is skied into short left center. Pham ranging forward. He can't get to it. This one's down. He'll get it into second. And as a result of that errant throw back in, he'll advance 90 feet here and move up from second to third. Wow, the pitcher, the pitcher must be just pitch. shaking his head. Okay. That pitch wasn't Off anywhere radio. near the strike zone, but he gave it the old tomahawk chop and somehow connected with it anyway. Now he's standing on second, and he even has to smile about that one. Now a check swing here, but the home plate umpire says he went around. No argument, and it's one and one. Fouled away. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Now back. And now here's the cleanup the hitter for the hitter. White Sox. Daniel, Daniel. Polka. 0 for 1 here in Polka. the early going. And he fouls this one off. Garcia on third. Sanchez on at second with two down. Struck him out, so they work out of the jam as he strands two men in scoring position. White Sox strand a couple. Still, Juan Manaya answers the call from the pen here in the fourth the as they didn't get the outing Number they were hoping for from their starter. Manaya, ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Takes this the other way to right, and this will be pulled in just in front of the warning track for the first out. Now batting. So the lineup Second flips station. over and digging in Joey, Joey Wendell. He Wendell. flew out in his last at bat. Here comes the first pitch. This is line to left. And a knock for him this time. He's two for four for the game. So a line drive single to left makes it two hits for him now this afternoon the at the plate. And as we call five. on the team leaderboard, That's you can see that he currently double. leads the Rays in that category. Here's the first pitch to him. There's a line drive out toward the gap in right center. The relay throw. And he is in there with an RBI triple. Wow, he's getting his daily conditioning in during the game. That's his second triple, so obviously he's seeing the ball great. And he's showing he knows how to motor around the bases just fine. He's set. Here it comes. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Geyer has a play. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And he will score on the sacrifice fly. Always productive to score runs when you can. And that sacrifice fly right there drives home the second run of the inning. First offering on its way. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. See you later. Over the wall, a home run.
It's a solo homer here for Mike Zanino. Fourth home run here in the early going as the blowout continues. Now that the designated hitter. Well, how you beat the shift? You hit it over the shift, of course. You can't play guys up in the sky, so he lifts this one up and out of here. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired.